Hi, I'm Rami from Mini Loader. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna present you with part two of my October video series, kind of in a way. Even though we're not painting an orc, we're painting something even better than an orc. What might that be, you ask? Of course, you've seen the title and thumbnail. An ogre! Let's just get right into the painting. First off, I base coated my model in black because I did not have any clue how to paint him before I actually started. And the second I realized how I should start this model, I regretted already basing him. The base, as you might see, I was trying some things, some things you might actually see in the future. Most likely, blah, 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 blah. Most likely you'll see it in the future. But for now, I'm not quite pleased with the base, so don't pay any attention to it, please. <laughs> Even though I just pointed your attention to it. As you can see, I hand painted the whole model, or at least the skin parts in grey here. Throughout the painting scheme, I'm gonna explain. I was touching that up because my hands, well, both my hands, uh, yeah, they're not very steady. Let's put it like that. So after uh, doing grey here, I decided to start with the club. He's holding in one hand because, well, if I already paint the skin and I vibrate with my brush because my hands can't keep still, I touch the skin and I need to paint the skin again if I need, and all the consequent steps. But if I do it before I paint the skin, bam, just a quick touch up with some greasy. The wood of the club I painted in Tondia Brown. I am definitely not reading this from a phone. Tondia Brown. Yeah, just Tondia Brown, no special reason for it. Besides, when uh, you, I put a wash in it, it looks a little bit more like evil wood, if that's the thing. After painting that, I thought, what's the next big thing that isn't the entire surface of the mini, aka skin? And I decided to paint his loincloth next in Dryad Bark. For what reason, other than it being already <laughs> beside me pretty much, I have no rhyme or reason for this paint scheme. I came in with zero idea of what I wanted to do and suddenly I remembered Shrek and yeah, that's the whole story behind this paint scheme. The only point of this paint scheme is Shrek Ogres. What do you need more than a paint scheme besides Shrek or Lord and Savior? After that, I... Uh, now it's up to the lead voucher parts, the studs he has in his, his big tree branch. Uh, he has some spikes and some metal wrapped around it as a handle. I don't think that will be very comfortable. I don't think it will be very comfortable holding that, but it's an ogre. You have layers, especially on the hands. Then I just put an Agrax Urchade on everything we've already painted, except the skin of course, even though I actually painted it. It's If you're doing this at home, just save yourself a lot of fucking trouble and layering crazy here on black. It doesn't want to do that very, very easily, I should say. Now, since the skin is already painted, I wanted to incorporate some more brownish off-green. That's even the right way to describe that world forest. But I just put it around and on top of the humps and bumps on his skin he has, the warts, the lettery parts of the skin, just to make some more contrast between the tougher parts, because I do believe those parts will be a little bit tougher compared to the, the normal, just regular skin and to make sure they, the grays here and the dead world forest will look part of the same model I just washed them both and a layer of crow green on the dead world forest parts I use way more crow green because well <laughs> I love crow green and sometimes I have too much on my brush and I'm too lazy to just rub it off on the pot so I just used the, the dead world forest parts to just clean the brush off before I use a thin layer of crow green to just saturate the grace here. I think that's the right way to say because I really don't want it to pull. The second it starts to pull I just rub it away with my finger to make sure it isn't a, 
all an ogre full of pock marks. Now, to make sure the skin looks like skin, I used grey sear. But that's a dry brush. You could fucking highlight this by hand. Good luck if you do that. You're a saint. I don't have the patience. <laughs> I absolutely do not have the patience to do that. So I, especially around the face area, nice light dry brush of grey sear to make to make sure that the detail in this model really sticks out compared to the recessed parts because this model has a lot of beautiful detail that I try to pick out with the grey sear dry brush. Of course not on the dead world forest parts because I because I dry brushed them in Sybarite Green. Please game search of these names are not dyslexia friendly. <laughs> Fuck me. Sybarite Green, yes. Same principle as with the uh, previous dry brush, just a nice easy going dry brush I would say. Of course I did way too hard, <laughs> I pressed way too hard with way too much paint still on my brush. It's just as easy as swiping your finger across and your problem is solved. Keep that in mind if you fuck up like I do. Now this model, his teeth are showing, I used the sharp bone for his teeth. I do it for all teeth of all monsters in my armies because it's an easy paint to remember and it just works great. I actually didn't even put a wash on it because I just took a little bit of paint on the tip of my brush and just brushed the tip of my brush over the raised area. It's a little bit like a dry brush but with more paint on my brush, if that makes any sense. You'll probably see it on the footage if it's not horribly spat up because I'm a lazy editor. Now what's left is just the fingernails. I use Bane Blade Brown, Bane Blade Brown for that. Please, Games Workshop, fix your names. Uh, I have this like I can barely pronounce my own name. Just use Bane Blade Brown on his fingernails, his toenails. It blends in a little bit but sticks out enough to make it believable that those are his nails. And in my eyes this model is done. I did this quick and easy because sometimes I just like to paint those uh, paint things that way. Especially the bigger models like trolls and ogres, all those kind of models. It's easy to get. Yeah, just tired of painting them because they're big and full of detail compared to the little dwarfs that I usually paint. So a quick and dirty way to paint something big is oh perfect and now I have two Shrek Ogres. So this will be another quickie video. Uh, the whole paint scheme is done already. I hope to see in the next one. The next couple of videos I hope to make a little bit longer. Have some bigger plans with my dwarf armies, believe it or not. And I'm actually very excited to share with what I'm coming up with. I. I think I won't spoil it for uh, obvious reasons, so you ne watch the next video. And I hope to see you then. Bye. Hi. Fuck. <coughs> oh my god. <clears throat> Keep that in mind if you fuck up like I do. <laughs> and I fuck up a lot. I think I'll. S I'll. I'll. I'll blah, 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 blah. And my own name is, believe it or not, even easier than Lemmy. Lemmy is not my real name. Put this on a... Stick this on the end of the video so only real fans of this channel will know that my real name is actually not Lemmy. <laughs>